Welcome to the SEO.co Search Engine Optimization Podcast. Digital marketing essentials and next level tactics. From off-site and on-site optimization to persuasive selling and everything in between. You'll learn actionable tips on what it takes to outright and outrank your competition. Now, here's your host, Timothy Carter. Thanks for joining me today. We're going to talk about the pros and cons of an in-house SEO expert. You know, if you're going to run uh, an SEO campaign, chances are you'll need someone to help you do it. As a business owner, you may not have the time or resources to train yourself on the process of SEO, nor can you rely on some other random team member to, to shoulder the responsibilities. Instead, you'll be faced with three main uh, options. Hire an in-house SEO expert, outsource your work with an agency, or come up with some kind of hybrid of the two, potentially leveraging independent contractors or consultants. In-house SEO experts can seem like the, the wisest choice, since there are both good and bad agencies out there, obviously, and good agencies tend to be expensive, but as you might imagine, there are pros and cons to uh, an in-house SEO uh, expert, just like any other option. So let's talk about some advantages. The, an in-house SEO can help your business in, in a couple of ways. You know, one, you'll remain in full control of the process at all times. You know, most SEO agencies will offer transparency to their clients and strive to get direction and guidance from business owners. However, most agencies also have tried and true operations and practices that aren't easily movable, you know, whereas an, an in-house expert, you know, guarantees you some level of transparency and gives you near full control over what strategies get implemented and how. As long as you, as you trust your expert, you'll be in a good position. Uh, another one, you're, you're guaranteed to have a representative fully immersed in your brand. And intimate knowledge of your brand is necessary to compete or actually to complete SEO work successfully. Ideally, you'll be producing content. There will be social media posts and, and maintaining relationships with external sites throughout the entirety of your, your campaign. So if you're using someone who lives and breathes your brand, you'll have a, a greater chance at keeping everything consistent. This... Uh, this advantage is weakened, though, if you use contractors for your work. And uh, you, can, you can always outsource parts of your work. You know, using other contractors is also, you know, an inherent advantage of having an in-house SEO, uh, you know, employee. You know, because agencies generally take on all SEO responsibilities at once, you don't have many options when it comes to uh, work orders. You know, with an in-house uh, expert, you can find other experts and contractors to bring on for, for portions of your strategy. For example, you know, you can mix and match a team of writers and external link builders to suit your strategy best, you know. Uh, in-house SEOs can collaborate with your other parts of your team. You know, the best SEO strategies involve the entire team. You know, designers can make more appealing websites. Developers can include more SEO-friendly architecture. You know, and even account managers can help your social media and external link building efforts. You know, so, so having an in-house SEO means hosting more SEO-related collaboration within your organization. So everyone's uh, on the same page. And then you'll benefit from, from, from cross-training. You know, your in-house SEO expert might be able to take on some peripheral responsibilities, you know, giving them a dual role or might be able to impart some knowledge on another one of your team members. Uh, either way, you know, your team will improve through this cross-training and this knowledge. And then, you know, there's, there's also, you know, a few serious disadvantages that come with an in-house SEO. You'll probably end up spending more money. You know, agencies take a lot of flack for being expensive, but you know the reality is, most inexpensive, most are inexpensive compared to you know the cost of hiring someone full time. As a full time salary for an experienced guru, you know, could, better be easily more than three thousand dollars a month, uh, while while agency costs 
for for lower packages you know start below a thousand dollars a month you know consider all the costs and benefits thoroughly before making that decision another one you know it's impossible to have one person who's an expert in everything seo involves a lot of moving parts you know you'll have things like you know on-site seo technical seo from the website itself content writing social media link building and, and dozens of other small strategies making up your overall campaign it's it's impossible to hire an in-house agent who is an expert in everything compare that to an agency which deliberately hires individualized experts in each one of those fields to rely on to help their clients uh, another one there's there's little accountability when when something goes wrong you know if if your strategy doesn't work with an in-house seo expert you can fire him or her but that doesn't exactly help your position and there's little accountability beyond that step you know with an seo agency you can point out lack of progress and, and force them to step up their game if they want to keep you as a client uh, another dis disadvantage you won't be able to grow as quickly you know Honestly, it takes a lot of time for, you know, an in-house uh, staff member to ramp up a strategy from scratch. You know, agencies generally move quicker with more resources and more experience to get the job done. Uh, another one, your strategy won't be uh, quick to evolve with the times. You know, agencies are serving a variety of clients and competing with other agencies. They have to stay well versed in the latest SEO best practices if they want to stay alive. You know, in-house SEOs, on the other hand, can easily sink into a, a habitual pattern of work that never grows or changes. There's little incentive at this point to change or adapt, which means your strategy could quickly become stagnant. And so what's the bottom line? You know, there, there's no right or wrong answer to which SEO solution is right for your business. You know, every business is different and every business owner will have unique priorities and goals. If your ultimate priority is getting hard, measurable results and growing with the time, an agency or a hybrid mo model, or in-house and agency, might be better. If you prefer to have more control and transparency and brand immersion, there's nothing that should stop you from hiring someone in-house. Weigh out your options carefully, man, but don't don't be afraid to trust your gut. If something doesn't work out, you can always switch. And I'm going to say that's about it for today's episode. So if you are looking at uh, hiring, you know, an SEO agency for a hybrid model or to have a full managed SEO service and you want to improve your site's organic visibility, come on over to SEO.co and schedule a time to have a free consultation. You know, learn how, you know, we truly can help you scale your ability to outright and outrank your competition. Thank you for joining us on the SEO.co podcast. We appreciate your time. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe to the show and visit SEO.co for more resources based on today's topic, as well as access to more podcast episodes to help you improve your site's long-term SEO success.